Hey everyone, it's Olivia from ConvertKit and in this week's Tuesday Tip video, we're going to go over how you can automatically remove purchasers from your sales sequence. Here I have a simple visual automation set up to add this form subscribers to a photography course pitch sequence. Now I want to set it so that as soon as someone purchases the course, they get pulled out of the pitch sequence. This is done with events. Which type of event you'll use for this depends on how your purchase tracking is set up and which e-commerce provider you use, but it'll most likely be one of these two options. In this demo, I'm just going to use a tag. Before I go any further, let me explain how events work. Events will pull subscribers forward to them as soon as they occur. So in this example, as soon as one of the subscribers in this automation receives the purchased photography course tag, they'll be pulled forward to this event immediately, even if they are still midway through this sales sequence. And in this case, that's exactly what we want, because we don't want our subscribers to keep receiving pitch emails for a product that they've already purchased. But what about people who don't purchase? Well, as of right now, non-purchasers would stay at this point after completing the pitch sequence. And that's because events also act as a roadblock of sorts. Subscribers won't be able to pass them unless this event actually occurs. Of course, you're always going to have some subscribers who choose not to purchase whatever you're offering. Them waiting here won't really harm anything, but if you don't want non-purchasers to be stuck in the middle of your automation indefinitely, you can actually use events again to build a separate branch for people who don't buy. Here's how to do that. First, I'm going to add a delay step after the pitch sequence. This is optional and just gives subscribers a bit of extra time after they receive the last email in the pitch sequence to decide whether or not they're going to purchase. After that delay step, I'm going to add a tag that indicates they did not purchase. The reason it's okay to add this tag here is because the only subscribers who will reach this point are those who didn't purchase. Because remember, as soon as someone does purchase, they'll get pulled all the way down to this event and skip over any of the remaining steps above it. Next, I'm going to add an additional event beside the purchase event, and this event will be triggered by the didn't purchase tag. So now you can see that we have these two branches at the end of the automation here. You can leave this as is if you want, and your subscribers will eventually reach the end whether they purchase or not. Or you can take advantage of these two branches and add additional follow-up sequences. Now this automation is complete, so let's go back to the top and review the possible paths that a subscriber can take. First, they enter the automation via the Photography for Beginners form. Then, they're added to the Photography Course Pitch sequence. If they purchase, they'll be pulled out of that sequence immediately and pulled all the way down to this event, skipping over any remaining steps above it. After that, they'll be added to the Thank You sequence and then they'll complete the automation. If they don't purchase, then three days after the pitch sequence is complete, they'll receive the Didn't Purchase Photography Course tag. That tag will in turn trigger this event and they'll get pulled down this branch on the right, receive the follow-up sequence, and then complete the automation.